Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a first impression review on this collection that I just saw a couple weeks ago at the drugstore and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus collection. I do have most of the products. I picked up the three products that I found at my local drugstore but once checking online I see that there's two more products that I didn't see anywhere. I picked up the foundation, the pressed powder and the concealer. So this whole collection claims that you will say goodbye to photo flashbacks and that when you take a picture whether it be at the club whether it be in full like lighting like this whether it be with flash or anything you will not get flashback and this is what this foundation claims it says it has been tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models and with and without flash so I already do have the foundation on. I will have a demo of this foundation application with a beauty sponge as well as a kabuki brush towards the end of the video. If you guys would like to see the demo, stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the foundation, about the price range. These are very inexpensive products. If you guys know Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild tends to range from a dollar or less actually up until like 10 or 11 dollars i don't think they go higher than that honestly what a while is a really inexpensive brand that i have been using for quite some time and i love how inexpensive and great they are so what better way than to come out with a foundation and powder and concealer that doesn't give you flashback i feel like a lot of us tend to struggle with having flashback in our pictures whether it be because of our setting powder or our foundation or anything like that and it's so annoying to get that flashback because you're over here thinking you're popping and stuff and you just take a flash photograph and you don't look good and you can no longer post it on any social media because you look like a white ghost so foundation is actually $5.99 which is not bad for a drugstore foundation and this actually comes in 20 different shades mine is the seventh shade out of the 20 shades so as you guys can see it has a pretty good range of light skin tones and it has a pretty okay variety of darker skin tones then for the concealer they do have six different colors and the concealer is actually $3.99 and the pressed powder, they actually have it eight different shades and this one was $4.99. So as you guys can see, really inexpensive collection. I want to go more into detail about how these products look. I'm going to start with the pressed powder. I got mine in neutral buff. So it looks like this and it just has kind of like a dome shape to it. It's nothing too like out of the ordinary but it does tend to give me some kickback when using it with a brush. So just a comparison for you guys, uh, my matte and poreless actually has 0.29 ounces and this one has 0.26. Then for the foundation, we have one fluid ounce which is typically what most foundations have. So this is a pretty standard sizing. And for the concealer, it does have 0.29 fluid ounces which I'm going to compare with my Maybelline Fit Me Sealer. And this one actually has 0.23 fluid ounces. So this has a little bit more product than this. And the concealer actually just comes in your regular like doe foot applicator. I have found that this doe foot applicator is a little bit stiffer than others I've tried in the past. But honestly for $4.99, I'm not going to complain about the doe foot applicator. I actually found this at my local Rite Aid drugstore. But I'm pretty sure it's already at Walgreens and CVS. And I know it is online at the Wet n Wild website. So I'll go ahead and link that down below if you guys are interested. But that's pretty much it for me talking about the foundation, concealer, and powder. If you guys would like to see a demo of how I got this um, foundation look, then go ahead and keep on watching. At the end of the video, I'm also going to give you guys my final thoughts and some pros and cons about this collection, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's move on to the demo. Okay, so I'm going to first just go ahead and prime my face just like I usually would. And since we are trying out Wet n Wild products, I decided, what the heck, let's get the Coverall Wet n Wild Primer. I've actually never tried this primer before, but since it is Wet n Wild, I said, why not? I didn't find the Photo Focus Primer at my Rite Aid. I thought this would be more of a silicone based primer, but it just looks like a moisturizer, at least like my moisturizer. So I'm going to just go ahead and just prime my face. Like I said, I've tried these products once before in the past and I really, really liked it. So we're going to go ahead and just try it out once again. My skin type is actually combination, so I am oily in my T-zone, but the rest of my skin, it's pretty normal to dry. I think around here is pretty um, normal and just around 
here around my mouth is pretty dry so I'm going to put a little bit more on my mouth. Now I'm going to start off with the foundation. I have the color Buff Bisque and I just match myself to this one. First I'm going to just carve the top of my eyebrow with the foundation. This is just what I typically do. I'm going to start applying my foundation. For the right side of my face, I'm going to be using this beauty sponge. And for the left side of my face, I'm going to be using the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. Now this foundation actually does come with like, kind of like a spatula. So this foundation claims to have a matte finish and to not give any flashback when taking flash photography it said that it had been tested seven different lights so whether it be like natural lighting or like flash photography so we will see i will have to take a picture with it and obviously with the beauty sponge is going to be a lot more natural looking just because this beauty sponge tends to soak most of the product up so i might have to do a second layer and just to see if it builds up nicely or not, I think I'm going to just do the brush side now. So this foundation is definitely not full coverage. It's more on the kind of medium coverage, nothing too crazy. But as you guys can see, it already pretty much covered my floss, which it makes me happy. And I look pretty mad, which is a definite plus for me. Now I'm going to try to do a second layer just because, like I said, I like more full coverage. I really do like this and it is kind of sticky but I do have the powder to set that. I'm going to do the concealer now. I'm going to put this under my eyes and my concealer is in the shade light to medium beige. I've noticed that with this concealer, I have to dip it in like twice or three times just to get the amount that I usually would use. And this concealer is more on the drier side, not as liquidy as other concealers that I've tried in the past. I'm just going to blend all this out with a beauty sponge because this is just what I do usually. I don't feel like this covered my under eyes that much and my under eyes aren't that dark so I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit more. As you guys saw I did put quite a bit of it and it still didn't do the trick for me so I'm going to put just a little bit more. For the purpose of the video I'm not going to set my under eye like I usually would. I'm just going to set my whole face with the pressed powder from this collection and I do have it in neutral buff. So I'm going to set my under eye just and put just the usual amount that I would. And the powder does kind of kick back a little bit more product than my usual powders. But that's no problem for me, honestly. And I'm just going to set the whole rest of my face. Okay, so, so far so good. I really do like the foundation, but I can tell that it still hasn't set completely. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and come back to give you guys my final thoughts. I'm back with my full face done. The only thing I haven't done is set my face. So I'm going to quickly do that. I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics setting spray and just spray my face. Just to bring back some life to it. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. I honestly think that this foundation is a really good foundation. One for the price point as well as for how flawless it makes your skin. I'm going to go ahead and quickly take a picture, a flash photo of this foundation with my phone. And I'll go ahead and insert the pictures here once I have them. And so far from looking at the pictures, it doesn't give me flashback at all. The only thing would be that it looks a little bit different than my neck, but in person and with this lighting, it looks good. It actually does what it claims. So I'm really happy about that. My final thoughts on this whole collection would be if you're going to buy anything from the collection, I would say to go with the powder and the foundation. I think both of these together are such a perfect combination and leave your skin feeling matte but not super flat or anything. I think these two are very good together. The only thing that's kind of like a downfall for me would be the concealer just because it was a little bit drying as well as I had to apply a lot of it to get half of the coverage that I usually get with my other concealers also i don't think it covered my under eyes that well even after applying a second coat of it 
I just wasn't crazy about the concealer, but I definitely think that if you're going to pick up something, you guys should definitely pick up the foundation and powder. As you guys can see, my face looks pretty, pretty flawless and really nice. So I absolutely love these two together. So to end this first impression slash review, I'm going to end with some pros and cons. Pros would have to be this collection actually doesn't give you flashback, which is great. Another one would be that this collection is very inexpensive. Another pro would have to be that this doesn't make you look matte and dry your skin out at all at least for me and as you guys know i get really dry around my mouth area and this didn't do me wrong or anything so i'm happy about that some of the cons um, would be that the concealer isn't as great as i would have thought it was pretty drying and i have to build a lot of it up to get some coverage another con from this collection is also again from the concealer just because it didn't wear as long as the foundation does and i understand why that happens just because it's not super full coverage in the beginning anyway so it's gonna wear off faster than the foundation and powder another con would have to be now with the foundation the foundation actually like i said comes in this sort of like spatula thing and it's not all i mean it's handy for me but for other people um, i know a lot of people don't like things like this don't like bottles like this they prefer more of like a pump so that would be a con if you like pumps that's basically all the pros and cons that i can think of as of right now that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this one please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps me to know if you guys have been liking these videos and if you guys would like to see more of these kind of like first impression reviews videos so yeah guys don't forget to do that and subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys